Welcome back. Leading the eye to the right place. You are the artist. You get to change the scene or shapes around to suit you. Remember and keep that in mind. One artist that I went to listen to at a famous gallery said something that I will forever remember. She was a landscape painter. She said, God did not do a good job of arranging these shapes, so I had to help him. Everyone thought that was funny, but it did bring the point home about how the artist needs to move shapes around sometimes to make things work. So keeping that in mind, we're going to look at different ways you can lead the eye around to the focal point. Angles can lead the eye around. Remember that leading the eye to the focal point is the goal. Here are the different angles. You have an angle coming in from the left leading to the focal point. You have one from the bottom leading to the focal point. You have one that starts at the top, goes to the focal point and leads out again, or it starts at the bottom and leads to the focal point and then out again. You have two lines that lead to the focal point from the bottom. You have two lines that lead to the focal point from the top. You have one line that leads to the focal point from the left. Now this looks confusing in the beginning, or at least I thought so. So here are some examples. So here you have a landscape, a landscape where the lines lead to the focal point. Again, similar thing, lines that lead to a focal point, the focal point in this case being some of the trees. The lines are more or less angular and they lead the eye towards the focal point. Here you have a more abstract piece where the lines lead to a focal point, which is a figure. All the lines lead to the main figure. Here all the lines lead to the horizon line where the trees are. So the lines, some are horizontal, but they all lead up. The horizontal ones lead to the main line that leads up to the horizon line. So here's your assignment. Pick one of the compositional formats and create a painting or drawing. You can work realistically or abstractly. If you have time, try them all. The more you practice, the better you'll get. So have fun with this, and we'll see you in the next section.